Hello and welcome to the channel of Obstetrics and Gynecology. In this video, I will explain about the technique of a pap smear and the liquid based cytology for the cervical screening. So, the things that you will require for a pap smear are or a liquid based cytology, a pair of gloves, some clean glass slides, uh, this is known as the IR spatula, the cyto brush, we have the Cusco's bivalve speculum. And for the liquid based cytology, we have this one known as the cytobroom and a liquid based cytology vial. So, beginning with the procedure, so first you need to perform an adequate hand hygiene, and after that, don a sterile pair of gloves as per your size, and then finally, you will introduce the Cusco's speculum. See, Cusco speculum is for the retraction of anterior and the posterior vaginal wall, right? But we don't introduce it as such. It's uh, very traumatic for the patient. So basically, you rotate it to a 90 degree like that, and then you insert it right through, and then finally you rotate it and open the. So now the anterior and the posterior vaginal walls have got retracted and you can see that the vaginal walls appear pink and the cervix is also seen in the center and here I can see in the center of the cervix is my os. So this is this would be the area of my interest from where I will take the pap smear and I can adjust this screw right over here so that it does not get closed. There you see is my os and now if I have to take the pap smear I need require a IRS spatula. So now I am going to introduce my IRS spatula. So here you can see is the IR spatula and the longer end of this IR spatula is going to go inside the os and the smaller end is going to remain outside the cervix and we are going to make some rotations. To make it more clear I am going to explain it on my hand. So imagine my hand is a cervix and you can see is a uh, slit shaped external os. So now I am going to take the pap smear with the IR spatula. So I'm introducing the IR spatula through the vagina till the cervix. Now it has a long end and a short end as you can see. The long end is going to go into the endocervical area and the short end is going to stay over the cervix, rest of the cervix that is outside and we are going to make some rotations like this. Right? You can make two to three rotations and finally uh, and also in the same direction. And after making those rotations, you get adequate amount of cells and you spread it over the glass slides to third area. Immediately you have to spread these. Next comes up is my cyto brush. So this cyto brush is going to go inside this, going through the external os into the endocervical canal. And uh, you can see, still I can see some of my bristles outside this uh, outside the cervical canal that is absolutely normal and next is I am going to turn it just half of the circle and that half of the circle is enough to take the endocervical sampling and I am going to spread it over the rest part of the slide where over the one third area right and then you have to immediately fix this slide with a fixative solution which is of 95% uh, alcohol to ether 1 into 1 ratio and after that fixation we go for the pap staining right so this was all about the pap smear now there is a new technology that is the liquid based cytology for which I will require is a cyto broom or a combi brush. This is a cyto broom. See uh, it has bristles over it and it also has a tip inside it uh, in 
a longer end in the middle you can say which goes right inside the endocervical canal so again i'm going to introduce it right through the uh, vagina into the cervix and then i'm going to rotate this over the cervix and you can say uh, in the same direction i am going to go for 4 to 5 times and after that i have taken enough of the cells and i am going to transfer this part of the uh this part of the cytobroom right it gets detached from here and the cytobroom is then put inside this shore path while like this and then sent for the liquid based cytology to the pathologist see the liquid based cytology has a few advantages from the that from the pap smear that uh, when you make the pap smear on a glass slide it has some drying artifacts whereas in case of a shore path it's a liquid based cytology and there are no drying effects and the number of cells that we transport in this are more in comparison to the pap smear for example you can say that almost almost 80 to 90% of cells that we take gets transferred in this whereas in case of a pap smear it would be only uh, 10 to 20% and the next we have is in case of a uh, uh, blood in the presence of blood or mucus discharge you know those cells they get separated from the endocervical cells in this method and also we can go for a hpv dna testing in this way so it has a few uh, advantages from the pap smear also some prerequisites that you need to follow before taking this process that is the patient should be in a post menstrual phase or uh, you can say any time away from the menstruation and not in the menstruation you should take uh, the pap smear uh, but if there is a slight presence of blood cells or you can say there is a slight bleeding you can go for a lbc vial uh, lbc method for the cytology testing because that separates your rbcs from the endocervical cells the next we have is uh, the patient should have uh, no coitus no douching done no use of tampons for at least 48 hours prior to the cytology sampling and also the if there is any presence of a vaginitis or cervicitis you need to first uh, treat that part and then take a pap smear so while inserting your cusco speculum uh, make sure that you do not use any uh, lubricants or any um, you know antiseptics uh, before inserting because uh, that will hamper the cytology report so thanks for watching the video and if you like the video please do like subscribe and share the channel love obstetrics and gynecology